there welcome back to the two stroke turbo channel welcome back to all that is good in the microcar world although you can see my dog stella here is looking forlorn at her swimming pool that's her wading pool she's looking intently at our tree which is turning beautiful fall colors that's our maple tree and if you notice or maybe you haven't noticed from our past videos the kids trampoline with a high net has been here in our backyard for a long time well the kids have grown. They don't use the trampoline anymore. Trampoline had to go. We're now going to re-landscape the backyard. Stella is looking longingly either at the trampoline or maybe a rat or a squirrel that like to hang out on the trampoline. I think it's more likely a squirrel. So let's show you what's going on here. So we've decided to redo our backyard. Not huge, but I also want to redo the driveway. I've been thinking about this for a while and <laughs> Uh, you guys know I get a lot of cars in my driveway. Even though they're small cars, they still take up room. So I need to fix this big spot here. I want to put some pavers in here. That means I got to take six inches of dirt or six inches of rock and dirt out. And I've already got this area done right here in front of this window well, but I've got all that to do. And I've got my sprinkler on trying to soak the ground because I've parked so many cars there that it's impacted it and compacted it to the point where I can't, I can't shovel it. So I've got a driveway repair. I've got all this dirt to dig out. And you would think I would need a big heavy duty truck, right? Like a dump truck or a dump trailer or an excavator or whatever. No, no, none of that. We're doing this all lowbrow. I've got my shovel, my hoe, my sprinkler, and I'm about to acquire a pickaxe and I'm gonna manually remove all this dirt and put it into my key van. <laughs> I guess I'm the king of micro cars and that's how I'm tying this all together. I've got a thousand pounds of dirt on the trailer wrapped in tarp so it doesn't blow away on my way back to the shop. I'm going to tow it there and I have a place to put it. So it's a key van. In other words, it doesn't have tow capacity. There's no tow rating for a key. It doesn't have a frame. I just bolted it to the unibody, so I have to be careful about how much I tow. But I've towed enough stuff that this thousand pounds of dirt is probably gonna be okay. But I then filled up the back of the van with rocks, which may have put me over the limit. I don't know what these tires are rated at, but they are... Our white walls are bulging at the bottom here. They're kind of... So uh, we got to be careful. We're going to go slow, but who needs a Dodge Ram diesel 25 or 3500 when you have an, a key van with a five speed and a side draft carburetor? I mean, <laughs> I do love this van um, and it gets the work done and I have had no problems towing stuff. I'm hoping today goes just as well, but I do have to be careful of my load limits. So uh, let's get some Put some work done. Let's move some dirt. I might have to make a couple trips. So I got my buddy here to hop up in the van. Still, come on. Don't be distracted by squirrels. Hop up in there. There you go. Oh, now we're definitely over the load limit. Stella, you're 39 pounds. You may have to sit up front to keep us from doing wheelies. I can definitely feel there's something behind me. I hope the hitch doesn't break off. We're not going very fast. And we're not going very far. But this thing is not designed to tow a thing. And what are we towing? Probably more than the own, the gross vehicle weight of the van. That's okay. Still, you happy? I'm happy. And just like that, we are unloaded and ready to get the next load. It took a while. It's going to drive so much better without, well, it drives better without the trailer, but no load in the trailer. I know it does. Stella, what do you think? All right, so Stella is admiring my work in the driveway. We have yet dug out more uh, for our paving project. And the key van, I should say the micro mystery van, is working hard, doing its job, working like a slave. Oh my goodness. Uh, my tarp ripped from the amount of dirt, so I started to go with buckets. And I need some more buckets. And it's getting dark. And Stella needs her dinner. What do you want for dinner? How does dog food sound? So 
good? Oh, I bet it does. You're a good puppy. You deserve some food. All right, Stella's helping me <laughs> dig out the driveway. We've gotten a little further. So as you may or may not have been witnessing, my weekend project for this weekend was to get all this half of the driveway six inches lower. It was really compacted because I like to park my microcars here as I need driveway space. As you can see, uh, I've got cars to deal with and I can get two more parked here if I have this space. So we're going to paver this. I've been digging it out using my shop van, my mystery van, 850cc work truck as I call it. And one of my family members wanted to be in the video and then just backed out. So I was going to show her, but uh, I figured out how to load this trailer. So I've got about a thousand pounds of dirt on the trailer, just the dirt, not including the trailer, which weighs 500. The van weighs about 900 pounds. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Uh, but if I get the tongue weight just right, I put my foot here and I bounce. You can see the tongue is the trailer is perfectly balanced. In other words, there's not too much tongue weight to where it's going to snap off my hitch. I only use the hitch for towing because it's really strong this way, but it doesn't have a lot of tongue leverage. Does that make sense? The, the hitch capacity does not have any capacity. It's not designed to tow anything, but especially the hitch loading, as in the hitch weight amount. It needs to be very light. So I think I've got it perfectly situated. Take another load. This is our third load of dirt all i have yet to do which is not is still quite a bit is that much so keep at it you want the ball give me oh that's a good girl that's a good girl you crazy dog you give me that ball give me that ball give me that ball give me that ball give me that ball. got ourselves into a sticky situation i backed my trailer that was loaded into the soft mud and the right tire sunk all the way down into the dirt and my two-wheel drive mystery microvan I don't know if it's gonna pull it out or not that's pretty far in there I'm hoping it will let's give it a shot shall we let's see what happens here I think it's just gonna do nothing we'll find out Come on, baby. First of all, let's start. Okay, it started. Take the brake off. Come on, work van. You're gonna have to work. Oh yeah, here we go. Whoa, okay. It smoked the tires and it worked. Let's just see what the results of that. Oh yeah, lots of tire smoke. Oh, we pulled it out of the ditch. <laughs> That's pretty great. This thing works so hard. It's so awesome. Rinse my muddy boots off. It's stuck. Stella, you gonna show them how it was stuck? How many loads has this been? How many? We've been doing all kinds of loads in the little van. It seems to be doing just fine. I think this is our fifth load. Oh my gosh, I hope my clutch holds up. And kind of hard on it. My little truck hasn't hardly used any gas, which is amazing. Maybe, green light now, maybe, I don't know, eighth of a tank to do five loads? That's working. Well, how many times I've been in and out of this thing with my muddy boots, my muddy everything. This thing is a workhorse. I have been using this van and trailer combination all weekend to dig out my driveway. And it has been great. It has, <laughs> I hate to say it, but I think this weighs, the trailer weighs 500, and I think the load weighs 15, maybe two, I don't know. The dirt's really wet, and there's rocks in there, pallets, and I think the van only weighs 1,000 pounds. So it's kind of crazy what this little workhorse can do. Who needs a pickup truck? Got great gas mileage with an 850cc motor, able to get into tight places because it's really small, backs up really easy. It's like a little lawn and garden tractor. It is nice. Highly recommend it, as long as it works. You can see my tire tracks from the day before with all the mud. I love this little van. Can't 
emphasize enough what a great useful tool it has been to me and I think somebody else will agree let's open the door here my hand works. oh right you you think it's a great little tool 